Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to First Fridays with DWG CPA. I'm your host, Daryl Groves, and I'm glad that you're able to join us today. Each month, we seek to provide topics that will be helpful to our clients as they navigate their businesses toward financial and operational success. Our webinars are recorded and posted to our website for viewing later under the Client Center. The format today will be as follows. Uh, all participant lines will be muted during the presentation and unmuted during the Q&A session at the end. Uh, questions can be raised during the presentation using the Q&A comment box at the bottom left of your screen. We'll make every effort to answer questions uh, during the Q&A session. And as always, if you have other questions that you want to uh, ask us, uh, you're more than welcome to set up a one-on-one -on -one meeting with us uh, at any time. So our agenda today uh, is, uh, first of all, we're going to give an overview of uh, DWG CPA. Uh, then we're going to talk uh, briefly about the financial reports that are available uh, in QuickBooks Online. Uh, and then uh, we'll get uh, a, 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 an in-depth overview of financial analysis within Fathom, and uh, then we'll have a Q&A session after that. So D DWG CPA is a full service accounting firm. We provide tax accounting and audit solutions for small businesses, nonprofits, and individuals. Our primary goal is to save you time and money. I'm so blessed and truly thankful to be working with a fabulous team of dedicated professionals that are Focus every day on providing the best service to our clients. Uh, definitely feel free to contact any one of us if you have a question. For those of you not yet su subscribed, we offer a free monthly newsletter that features four to five brief articles each month that are designed to keep you updated year round on tax updates and information you need to manage your business finances. You know, it's amazing uh, that uh, we often get questions from clients on topics that uh, we can just refer them to an article uh, from the newsletter that, you know, explains that topic in, in, in plain English. So to, to, to subscribe to our newsletter, you simply go to the, to the website uh, at dwgcpatx.com and select subscribe at the top right hand corner. You'll get an email that'll ask you to confirm your subscription. That's all you have to do. And that will, like I said, that will help make sure that you stay up to date. And, you know, it might spark a question or two uh, that, again, we're here to help uh, anytime uh, you'd like to reach out to us. We're also on social media. Uh, so you can get frequent updates by liking our page on Facebook, by following us on Twitter, or by connecting via LinkedIn. So, um, so as we mentioned, the first uh, area that we're going to cover real briefly is is uh, preparing financial reports in QuickBooks Online, and we provide three standard reports for our clients, um, either monthly or quarterly, and those are the balance sheet, statement of income, and statement of cash flows. What many may not be aware of is that Quick QBO offers many other reports. And uh, as our accounting manager and, a, and as a QBO pro advisor, uh, Joe Martinez has quite a bit of experience reviewing reports in QBO. Uh, so Joe, can you please provide us with an overview of the reports available in QBO? Sure. Um, as you can see from the screenshot there, you've got uh, one, two, three, four, five tabs uh, that you have access to. The first is the uh, recommended reports. These reports are the QuickBooks Online reports that that uh, that QuickBooks recommends that you run at a minimum. They're going to look at your profit and loss, uh, sometimes referred to as the income statement or statement of income, uh, balance sheet, which is going to look at the assets, liabilities, and owner's equity, uh, company snapshot, just kind of gives an overview of where the company is as far as sales and and uh, uh, rev, uh, expenses are concerned. Then it's going to look at accounts receivable reports, uh, accounts payable reports, and expense by vendor report. The next tab is the management reports. This tab is uh, going to have company overview, 
which is going to provide, you know, again, profit and loss, balance sheet, sales performance. Uh, it's going to look at um, your AR summaries. Uh, expense performance is going to look at, you know, your accounts payable, expenses uh, by vendor. So these are also really good reports. Again, they give more of a snapshot, an overview of what's going on in these certain areas. The third tab is the frequent, frequently run reports. And again, those are exactly what it says. Uh, reports that you run all the time or that you run most frequently are going to appear on that list uh, for, for us. Here at DWG, it's probably the, the ones that Daryl mentioned, the profit and loss, uh, the balance sheet, and the statement of cash flows, uh, along with the general ledger, because those are the reports that we provide to our clients at a minimum. Uh, the next tab is going to be the custom reports, and that is where I save all my reports that I create for my clients, that I create for myself, for special reporting. Uh, and it's basically that's what they are. They're custom reports. You can take uh, most of the reports, uh, profit and loss, your balance sheet, and then you can customize them to include periods, uh, you know, by month, by quarter, by year. You can analyze various years. So uh, whenever I create a custom, uh, create a special report, I always save it, and that's where it, it would display under custom reports. And the last tab is going to be all reports, which covers all of the reports that uh, QuickBooks has to offer. Now, those are usually within uh, the major areas. You're going to have uh, the business overview, sales, accounts receivable, accounts payable, expenses and purchases, uh, sales tax, employees, if you're using the, the QuickBooks payroll and the payroll taxes, and products and inventory. Uh, QuickBooks does have inventory uh, function functionality. Uh, it's very basic, uh, but it does have it out there, so it does have reports uh, along that line. And again, these are these are the the five tabs. They're they're pretty basic reports, but they provide a wealth of information about your company's financial situation. Uh, it's important that you review them. You re, uh, review the uh, reports, ask questions about your financials and uh, information that's contained in the reports. And if you don't understand anything, as Daryl mentioned, please reach out to one of us at DWG. We'll be more than happy to uh, get back with you and, and explain and, and kind of walk you through and, and help you get through these reports. Hey, Joe. Yes, sir. Yeah. So how many reports are available um, in QuickBooks Online? QuickBooks Online, uh, for the essentials client, uh, it's going to have 40 plus financial reports. And for the QB, uh, QBO plus clients, which uh, I think most of you are, are QuickBooks Online plus, you have over 65 reports that, uh, financial reports that are available for you to use. So there's, there's quite a few reports that are out there. Uh, it's just a matter of going out there and trying some of those reports out. And uh, there may be things you're looking for that, that are available for you out there. It's you, There's just so many, you've got to go out there and, and look and experiment. Uh, and and I that know, kind of, it, yes, sir, go ahead. Yeah, no, go ahead, I'm sorry. Well, and, the, and that kind of leads us, leads us into uh, the discussion that we want to have today about Fathom. Uh, as I mentioned, and these are pretty basic reports. Uh, there's not a whole lot of functionality with the reports other than they just generate data. So uh, as we discussed, the, it leads into Fathom. So what is Fathom? Fathom is an easy to use management reporting and financial analysis tool, which helps you assess business performance, monitor trends, and identify improvement opportunities. And uh, again, if you're if you have key performance indicators that you're tracking, uh, Fathom is going to allow you to do that. And it also allows you to track um, key performance indicators that are not financial. So it's a pretty robust uh, application. And uh, th again, that leads us into our guest presenter, Alex Wunderlich. Um, Daryl, did you have some information on Alec, uh, Alex that you'd like to share with us? Sure. Yeah. So thank you, Joe. 
Um, yeah, so Alex is a partner success specialist with Fathom Applications. Uh, he obtained his uh, BBA in finance from Emory University in Georgia. He has prior experience as an analyst uh, for an investment group and a hedge fund. And according to LinkedIn, Alex's top three feature skills and endorsements include data analysis, Microsoft Excel, and golf. Uh, which is what I want to be on my top three one day. But <laughs> but anyway, uh, but we, we appreciate uh, Alex uh, Wonderlich joining us uh, today. And Alex, welcome and good morning. Yeah, thanks, Daryl. Um, so I'll go ahead and, and take over the screen here as presenter. Um, and thank you for the introduction. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to introduce kind of some, some key concepts uh, around tracking your business performance. Um, and just talk briefly about how, how Fathom can help uh, in assisting with that, that type of analysis. Um, and so, you know, uh, thank you for the introduction on Fathom and, and kind of what we do. Um, we're a third party uh, add on application for QuickBooks Online. Um, so we integrate fully with QuickBooks and, and we have access to, to all the data that's, that's in uh, a QuickBooks company that connects with our platform. So really, um, what, what Fathom does, uh, and I'll kind of walk through it briefly, but um, we try to distill uh, all of that information that's contained in those you know, 40, 50, 60 different reports in QuickBooks. Um, we really, really try to distill it into um, just a few different views, uh, very concise and, and visually kind of engaging views that, that help you monitor your, your business performance kind of just from, from one single place. So um, before I jump into to kind of some of the functionality of Fathom, um, I just want to introduce the concept of KPIs. Um, some of you might be familiar with this, um, and, and for some of you, this might be a new concept. So um, just generally, KPIs are key performance indicators. Uh, so these are metrics for tracking your business performance. Um, these, these metrics can be financial metrics, uh, gross profit margin, net income, uh, and they can also be non-financial metrics. So they can be metrics related to your customers, um, your employees, uh, you know, maybe your, your building or, or web marketing analytics, um, they're, they're really specific to your business uh, and, and they're metrics that uh, are really telling you what's going on with, with the most important um, areas of your business. So um, the benefit of tracking KPIs uh, is that they allow you to, to not only, you know, look at the really important aspects of your business, but also let you set tangible goals for your business and measure progress towards those goals. Um, so like I mentioned, you know, they let you go beyond just monitoring uh, you know, what's contained in your financial statements um, and really let you get, get specific to, to what's going on in your business particularly. So um, I touched on a little bit, but why do KPIs matter? So your business generates a significant amount of data uh, and a lot of it gets ignored. So, um, you know, a, as Joe and Daryl mentioned, there's a lot of different reports containing QuickBooks and, and that's a lot of different information and a lot of different ways of looking at it. You, you simply don't have time to dig through 60 different reports to figure out what are the couple points that actually matter. Um, so you need a place to keep track of the most important metrics affecting your business. Um, and that's where Fathom comes into play. Um, we, we distill uh, all these key metrics into just a few analysis tools um, and very concise uh, visual reports to let you keep track of, of all those important metrics in one place. Um, once you've sat down with, with your advisor and, and you've really had a conversation about you know, what are the metrics that you should be tracking uh, and why do they matter to your business? Um, the, the next step is setting goals. And so, you know, that's really gonna be, again, specific to your business and the conversation you need to have with, with an advisor who really understands your business. Um, but setting these goals really gives you something to work towards and, and ways to incrementally improve your business. Um, and the reason it's important to set those goals is because, you know, at the end of the day, that's how you generate results. So by focusing on, on what matters most and, and those real key performance indicators and ignoring the stuff that, that doesn't really matter, um, you can work smarter and not harder to achieve those goals. So you won't have to worry about 100 different metrics. You can really distill it into maybe like five or 10 things that you really, really want to focus on. So how can Fathom help? Um, I touched on it a bit, but you know, Fathom is a business intelligence tool. Um, we were born out of a CPA firm. so. Um, the guys that built this tool were, were building key performance indicator dashboards and analysis tools by hand for clients. Um, they really understand, you know, the, the client advisor engagement and try to build a set of tools that really help to deepen that engagement uh, and, and give you and your advisor, um, you know, something to talk about and really make sure you're making the best use of your time together. So 
Um, one of the main functions of Fathom, as I mentioned, is, is the ability to create and track KPIs. So, um, you know, Fathom itself as a platform comes loaded with about 50 default KPIs you can choose from. Um, they're pretty standard metrics and ratios that, that might be kind of just more industry agnostic uh, ratios. But you can also create a number of different um, custom metrics and KPI, uh, custom metrics in Fathom as well. So, you know, you can sit down with, with Daryl or Joe and, and your advisors and, and really talk about um, what types of custom metrics you might want to be tracking, uh, what, what types of metrics that aren't necessarily uh, reflected in your financial statements might you want to be tracking. So, um, you know, perhaps customer satisfaction is one that, that you'd like to track. And, you know, there's really no way to do that in QuickBooks. Um, like I mentioned, web marketing analytics, um, staff metrics, things like that. Um, those might be really, really critical to your business. Uh, and so you need a place to track those alongside, you know, your, your standard P&L and balance sheet and cash flow. So um, you can create all those metrics and bring them all into one single place in Fathom. Um, hey, hey, Alex, real quick. Yeah. Um, one of the questions or one of the things you mentioned, and when we talk about uh, using Fathom with QuickBooks online, but what other... Um, what other uh, accounting applications can uh, work with Fathom? Yeah, so Fathom integrates fully with QuickBooks Online and the desktop versions of QuickBooks. Uh, we also connect with Xero and MYOB. Um, those are our bigger uh, accounting softwares kind of in, in Australia, um, where our company is actually founded originally in Australia. Um, so, so we do connect to those other accounting platforms. Um, and, and for everything else, we, we allow for uh, data to be imported via Excel. So you can really... You know, anything that you can put into an Excel spreadsheet, we can track and fathom. Uh, but really the benefit of those integrated accounting platforms is we're going to pull in the majority of that data automatically, uh, and it's going to update automatically. And so you, you don't have to worry about, um, you know, errors with the data entry or anything like that. You can, you can trust that the data is accurate coming over. So so if you do use a, uh, a program that, that's not on the, the list of automatic integration, you can just import that in. And you just have to manually do that periodically, like at the end of the month or when you close your books or whatever, right? Correct. Yep. It's typically a, a monthly or a quarterly process, uh, just updating those financial results uh, if, you, if you are doing it via Excel that way. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, great question. Um, and so, um, as I mentioned, you know, one of the key um, kind of aspects of Fathom is that KPI tracking. Um, but with that financial information that we're, that we're getting, uh, we also have a, a set of other analysis tools um, to help you really analyze uh, all, you know, that, that vast sea of data that's sitting in QuickBooks or whatever your accounting system might be. Um, so I, I didn't want to get too deep into the platform. Um, it's something that, that I really recommend that you guys explore um, with your advisor, but I just wanted to show a couple of screenshots from within the tool uh, and give examples of, of what we do because we really are known for being um, a very visually engaging and interactive solution. So I figured it was, it was best to at least show you guys a couple of screenshots. So um, the first one here is, is a tool for letting you monitor your cash flow. Um, so QuickBooks will generate, you know, a standard cash flow statement um, with a lot of positive and negative numbers and, and you know, a lot of line items. And um, some of you might understand that I have a finance background and, and even sometimes I get bored by, by those types of uh, financial statements. So this is really just a more visually engaging take on it. Um, you know, it will show you exactly uh, how much cash is coming in and out of the business um, with these red and green bars, and we'll show you kind of the magnitude of those inflows and outflows. So it really helps you identify where where cash is entering and exiting your business, um, keeping an eye on some of those key cash flow indicators. And then um, we also have, have some tools for tracking your profitability and, and visualizing the margins within your business and really understanding um, the different levels of revenue, um, you know, what, what your profitability looks like, you know, what's your business break even point, um, what's your margin of safety uh, above that point. Um, so you can make sure that, you know, just because you're profitable doesn't mean that, you know, there's not risk of, of falling below that level. So you really want to understand those key drivers of profitability. So we have these interactive tools that let you dig into that data. And, um, really the idea behind this visual format is, is it helps to, um, you know, just foster an understanding of the data because um, it's like I mentioned if you don't have a finance background uh, you know those 40 50 60 different financial statements you can generate um, they might be they might just be meaningless to you essentially so um, this helps bridge that gap and, and helps you have a conversation about more complex financial concepts uh, with your advisor even if you don't have that finance background 
Um, so those are just a couple of, of the screenshots within the tool. Um, you can see these icons on the left of that screenshot. Those are some of the other tools we have. Um, so I definitely urge you guys to, to dig in and explore this with your advisors. Um, but just to kind of wrap up on, on the key benefits uh, of using a platform like Fathom, um, the first, like I mentioned, is that it's automated. So um, if you're using an, uh, an integrated accounting platform, we're going to automate the data transfer so you know that it's accurate. Um, even if you're not using an integrated uh, platform, once that data is in Fathom, we're going to automate all of the KPI calculations, all of the analysis generation. Um, there's a set of reports that come out of Fathom as well. Um, there's really no work requirement on your end just, uh, beyond just connecting your data. Um, the second key benefit is that it's easy to use. Um, it was set up to be very intuitive, uh, easy to understand, you know, like I mentioned, even if you don't have a finance background. Um, and, and the tools are really just designed to pull you in, um, get you engaged with the data, and, and really bring your attention to the most you know, pertinent pieces of information right away so you don't spend hours and hours sifting through data trying to figure out what's truly important. Um, and so you know, on that next point, it's, it's very in, an engaging tool where we're, we're known um, rather than just being kind of a, a single dashboard, um, we're a tool that really tries to get you engaged and in interacting with your data. Uh, and, and really the, the last key benefit of that is that it's, it's very impactful. So when, once you understand what really matters to your business, then you can go out and, and you, know, you don't have to spend time um, analyzing your business. You can go out and actually start improving it, and you can make sure that you're directing your efforts uh, in the right place. So you know, once you identify those key metrics and, and you really understand them, um, you, you, know, you can get right to work and, and not worry about stuff that isn't actually affecting your, your bottom line at the end of the day. Uh, and that and that really translates into real world results, and um, it's something that we've seen across our, our user base is people, um, you know, really coming to us and saying that, that they they truly understand their business better after using this tool, and, and now they know what they need to do to to improve things. Um, so that's that was kind of just the high level overview um, of of the platform and some of the key benefits. Um, uh, if anyone has any questions, this would this would be a great time. I'm I'm happy to answer anything. Well. Um... Well, I'll, I'll uh, let Wendy raise any questions that anyone has out there in just a second. And one of the questions that, or comments, I should say, um, when I know when I first used Fathom and applied it to our QuickBooks, I noticed that there were a ton of metrics that were just built in, um, similar to the way QuickBooks is, uh, of financial metrics that that that, uh, that you can run a, a set your own little scorecard or dashboard with. Um, is there a limitation on how many uh, manual KPIs that you can enter into the system and set up to go along with that? There's not. So, so in the platform itself, um, at, at one single time, we limit it to 70 KPIs that you can track. Um, and, and to be quite candid, 70 is, is probably too many KPIs to be tracking. I mean, the, the whole concept of the KPI is that it's really – those few key metrics that you really need to focus on. Um, so the, I, I would say the standard number that we see people tracking is, is probably between 10 and 20, um, and maybe about half of those are gonna be the real critical metrics, and the other half are, are kind of just keeping a pulse on other areas of the business. Um, but yeah, that's, a, that's a great question. I mean, if, if you do have a very complex business and there's a lot of different custom metrics you wanna keep an eye on, um, you can track up to 70 in our platform. Yeah, uh, definitely. I've seen eight. I've heard eight to ten is uh, kind of the what the most you want to have because you're right. It's hard to uh, it's hard for you to focus on them if if you just got all of them in there. But the good news is that they're available if you if you want to track that many. Um, so uh, one additional thing I'll add is, um, and, and you mentioned this to us before that. Uh, many users, even though there's sample data or demo data that's available, it's usually best to take a look at take a look at it with your own data. Correct? Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, we do include a demo company in in all Fathom accounts that has just kind of a dummy company loaded. Um, but really, I mean, seeing your data visualized in this way um, for the first time really is going to be the most impactful thing um, because I mean, from the second you connect Fathom these analysis tools are automatically going to generate and draw your attention into things you may have never even considered before. Um, as, as an example, we, we had a, 
not an accounting firm, but actually a, a business group, a big, large franchise group. Um, they connected to Fathom and um, immediately went into one of the tools to, to look at their expenses broken down by different categories. Uh, and, and what they realized right away was uh, without any type of custom setup, they didn't even build any KPIs. Um, they saw that one of their employees was actually spending 10 times as much as the others on the company card. Um, and, and later that day, they had a meeting with him and, and ended up firing him. So um, <laughs> I don't know if I feel bad or good about that, but um, there's definitely things that, you know, are really important to see in your own data. Um, and that's really where the most value is going to be. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, thank you. We have some questions that have been coming in. Sorry, this is Wendy. Um, and the first question comes from Brandy, and it says, I've been told about a tool called Clipfolio, which allows for a dashboard for a dashboard to be visible. Does Fathom have a functionality similar to this, or does it integrate? And, and I've, I've uh, unmuted uh, Brandy's line in case you have a follow-up question. Okay. Yeah, Brandon, that's a great question. So um, I'm, I'm actually not familiar with Clipfolio. I haven't actually seen their, their product. Um, but yes, Fathom does have uh, basically dashboard functionality. The analysis section itself is tool-based. Um, so we, we try not to cram everything on one screen. We, we let you look at cash flow in one view, profitability in another view, um, KPIs in another view. But, but there is kind of a main KPI dashboard that's going to show all of your key metrics their results, um, how they're tracking versus their targets, how they're trending over time. Um, so, so there is kind of that single dashboard view also uh, available in Fathom. Okay. And Brandy, did, did that answer your question, Brandy? Yeah, she said thank you. Okay, great. Okay, and then the next question comes from John. And it says, does the software have to be installed or is there an online, online version? What about access for mobile devices? That's actually a great question as well. So Fathom itself is a web-based tool. So um, you, you log in uh, via our website uh, or you may log in via your account's portal. Um, the tools themselves can be run in, in an internet browser uh, anywhere. So you don't have to install anything um, on your computer. Um, the so and as far as mobile devices go um you can we don't actually have a, a mobile app per se you can access uh, the website via your mobile browser um you can access basically so all of the analysis tools um, are all very interactive uh and and those are web-based um we limit the access to those to larger monitors just just because the information wouldn't fit nicely on a small screen uh however all of the analysis tools are available as kind of static reports, and you can access those reports uh, via your mobile browser. And those um, those reports look the exact same as the analysis tools. Uh, the difference is um, it, we kind of limit the ability to really drill into things to, to the larger uh, desktop screens. So, so, I mean, you can access that, that KPI dashboard as a, as a report on your phone. Um, so, so you do, you, you really do have access to this stuff anywhere. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, um, I'm sure as, uh, some of our, uh, viewers have a chance to, uh, consider and, and, and maybe check out, uh, Fathom on, um, on, uh, on your website. They may have other questions, and uh, if they if you do, uh, what we'd like you to do is just uh, bring those to us, and we'll try to get them answered. If we need to set up a meeting uh, with with Alex, we can, but um, but we'll try to address those uh, questions with you, and um, get you up and running. Uh, I think it definitely is worth um, worth a, a try to see how it looks, and and um, you know see if it would be useful for your company. Hey Daryl. Yes. I've got another question. Uh, if if we if uh, Alex is still able to answer some questions, I've got one more. Okay. Go ahead. Absolutely. All right, Alex. Here's the the question. Uh, it comes from Roman. He he says uh, he asks, how do imports from Excel function? Are they manual imports only, or is Fathom able to sync with Excel files hosted on the cloud, say SharePoint or OneDrive, as example? 
Yeah, so so currently the process for, for importing an Excel financial uh, is, is basically just um, clicking a button in Fathom to select that file from your computer. Um, so, so it is a manual process, but it, it, it is very quick. Um, we are actually on our, on our product development roadmap is, is uh, something we're going to build out to allow for more of a live sync um, with, with uh, you know, spreadsheets hosted in the cloud. Um, so that's something we, we are looking at. Um, and currently, uh, yeah, so currently the process is, you know, technically manual, um, but, but it, is, it is very simple and quick. Um, and we provide all the import templates so that, you know, you don't have to worry about formatting the sheet. Um, you basically will just down, download a sheet and add your most current month's results and, and then just import it back into Fathom. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. Well, Alex, thank you so much for your presentation. We really appreciate it. Um, and, and definitely for our audience, uh, thank you for your attention and presence. Uh, it's, it's been a pleasure being with you and we welcome you to contact us with questions anytime. We'd love the opportunity to talk to you uh, about how we can be of service uh, to you and your business. Um, we, we really hope that you can join us next month uh, when we delve into the topic of business valuation for your small business. Uh, I think many of us, uh, uh, you know, as we build these businesses, we look, the end goal, of course, is to get it to a point where, um, you know, we know that it's worth more than it was on day one. So, so we'll explore that topic next month. So uh, thank you again to everyone and uh, have a great weekend.